Yeah, this was kind of the outskirts of Portland. For more than 40 years, neighbors Al Kirk and Hayden Atwood have called North Deering home. There used to be a gas station on every corner, four pharmacies here within a mile, and there used to be a hardware store. Many of those businesses are gone. Two pharmacies on the busy Allen's Corner were replaced with dollar stores, and the only gas station is now a cannabis dispensary. Marijuana places like literally every other block. You have to travel so far to get uh, gas. You know, it's, it's difficult. Yeah, it's very sad. A workforce shortage coupled with people working from home also contributed to the closings of Parker's Restaurant, the Hallmark Store, the L.L. Bean Call Center, and other longtime businesses in North Deering. It's a shame to see him go. It's definitely weird to see all these places closed and, uh, you know, it's less jobs as well for people. COVID uh, got rid of an awful lot of businesses, unfortunately. Everything has changed uh, since the pandemic. Greg Watson heads the city's economic development department. You're finding more people working from home now. Uh, yes, uh, there, and, and I think Maine and Portland in particular are, are leading in, in that ability to um, have the flexibility to work remotely. How important are these businesses to this neighborhood? I think they're very important. Before, though, I would imagine you could go, you know, get everything you need right here in North Deering. That's really not the case anymore. It's changed. It really has changed. You see the change big time. But for every business that closes, it creates new opportunities. Take Sam Eakin. He opened Cherish Possessions and most recently, Bayou Kitchen 2. Sense. North Deering, we felt, was uh, ripe for a local place uh, for the neighborhood because other places had closed. That's what happens when you have a, an implosion of retail real estate like we've had. You, you got extra space, it goes cheap, so people move in. Craig Watson says this North Deering business trend isn't new or unique. I think it's just change, and, and that's something that we can almost always count on. Uh, especially in the commercial real estate market. Change, like the new fitness center moving into 3,000 square feet of space L.L. Bean once occupied. A welcome sign of business growth in North Deering. You'd like to see some more fine dining out here. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's my favorite. There's a lot in the downtown Portland area, but not, not so much, um, you know, out here in North Deering. It's lovely to be able to walk here. North Deering as a neighborhood is a great neighborhood. You couldn't ask for better neighbors or people. In North Deering, Brad Rogers, Good Day, Maine.